So when you're watering, you don't just want to go over it real quick. What I do is I start over here in an area and I let the water build up to where it's almost flowing out, kind of like that. If there's flowers out, I don't I don't put the water right on it. I kind of go around like this, you know? And then I also try to pull out little weeds that shouldn't be here. This is a weed. Some weeds are prettier than others. So you want to make sure there's going to be enough water to soak into the ground and saturate. You get everything, you know, get everything super, super nice and wet. But you don't want to put so much water that you you start seeing the soil wash away with the water as it goes. So I just try to get nice and wet, not 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 just like this, because that'll be gone in five minutes. You try try to saturate the water or the ground so that it really adds up. Now. Areas like this, this is a climbing rose bush. And when I come out to these, I look for new shoots that are coming out while I'm sitting here and slaughtering, and I try to set them in without breaking them into places that need more area. And so I use I use the time to do shoot so that It doesn't actually climb by itself. You have to help it. All it does is kind of reach out. It's same thing for this pretty well. Heads off. So we, I use that scraper over there to get those out. Just go like this. And it cuts them off. It doesn't pull them. It cuts them. And if you catch them when they're little like that before they get any, any goat heads, then you don't even need to rake them up. They just end up decomposing and becoming fertilizer again. Now, this is not a goat head. This is called mat weed right here. So get a close up of this. And if you look at it, it's got green leaves and a red stem on it. And mat weed is really nice to step on. It doesn't get any goat heads and it comes back every year. So. I look around for these because these get really big really fast. This was maybe about an inch around just two days ago. So those I like to put a little water on. These guys over here, I want them all to die. But the mat weed, I want it to, to grow out. And so you'll see there's some areas where it's already growing out. And it's a, in this area, this whole thing needs to, needs to build up a water before we're done watering. So you see how much, how full I have it there? Where the, the mulch, the wood chips start kind of floating. You want to build it up that much and, and make sure you get every, every square foot of it. And again, I try to go around the flowers so I don't knock them down. Now, I've kind of already watered here. These are where the morning glories are growing. These are these are a weed or something. I let them grow because they look they stand up straight and they never get any flowers. They just stand up. I don't know if they have bulbs or something, but anyway, those are weeds. This right here is a morning glory. It's going real close to them. I pull them out just so that the morning glories get more of the sunlight and don't get hurt. But these these don't need as much water as the flower beds do. The same principle, I just keep going back and forth until it builds up a nice layer of water like that and then I move on. Or you see a larger plant, try to get more water in there. And I try to kind of push some of the dirt that gets built up in these wells. I just use this to kind of push it out of the way. That way the wells stay deep and hold more water. Make sense? Same thing here. This is another one of these climbing rose bushes. And it's 
kind of, you'll get the hang of it as you do this more. You'll kind of get a memory of how much pressure you can put on these without them snapping. And it's okay, you snap one or two the first couple of times. It's not a big deal. This is mat weed right there. You see how it has the red kind of uh, shoots? You know, tomatoes need a lot of water. They, each plant once it's full grown, you take about a gallon of water a day.